Hey guys, so today I'm here to do a book tag. I haven't done one in a while, so I'm really excited. I'm going to be doing the Because Feelings Matter book tag and I was tagged by the creator Michelle Lynn. I'm completely obsessed with her channel and her videos. I think she's going to be a great booktuber so definitely check her out and I will link her channel and her original video down below. Basically the questions just ask you what books made you feel certain emotions. So yeah let's get into it. By the way I'll have a list of people that I tag down below and whoever wants to do this I tag you do it. Just make sure that you credit Michelle and link to her original video. My questions are down here, by the way. The first question is, what book made you feel confident either about yourself or your life? I picked The Last Lecture by Randy Posh. I just really, really enjoyed that book. I felt like I learned so much from that book and I felt like I could really take advice from that book on how to live and how to look at things in life. Number two, what book made you feel sympathetic or sympathize greatly with the characters? I picked Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell because I sympathized so much with Eleanor and I felt like her story was so heartbreaking. That story just really touched me so yeah I chose that one. Number three, what book made you feel anxious? I picked a book that I've read recently and it's The Farm by Emily McKay. This book was intense and it kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time I was reading it. It was dark and creepy and just made me feel anxious the whole entire time pretty much. Number four, what book made you feel annoyed? I could pick a few, but I chose Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. I've talked about that book in one of my videos. I talked about how much I hated that ending so much and I ranted about it a little bit. So I think it was pretty obvious that that book annoyed me. Number five, what book made you feel disappointed? I chose Wild Roses by Deb Coletti because Deb Coletti is one of my favorite authors so I had really high expectations for that book but I just didn't feel like it met my expectations. She's still one of my favorite authors but that book was just a little disappointing to me. It's not one that I would recommend if I was telling someone she's my favorite author you have to read her books. That's not the first one I would recommend. Number six, what book made you feel confused? I chose As I Wake by Elizabeth Scott because I literally read that book and had no idea what was going on the entire time. Like even at the end of the book I was just sitting there like, what? What, what just happened? What did I just read? So it was a confusing book and I, I did not like it one bit. Number seven, what book made you feel satisfied? I chose The Perks of Being a Wallflower because it was one of those books where it's just like everything about it was so amazing and it just left me feeling wonderful and sad also but overall it made me feel great and it was just everything about the book was so great so well done. The last question is what book made you feel like you could really relate to the main character? I chose Echo from Pushing the Limits. My life is not as hard as Echo's was but there was certain things about her character that I could really really relate to and made me feel for her so much so I knew I definitely had to pick her. I mean while I was reading this book I felt such a connection to her. So that is it for this tag. I absolutely loved this because I really feel like reading and books and the emotional attachment that you have with these books is something I love so much about reading so I just love this tag. Like I said definitely go check out the original video. People I'm gonna tag, you know what I'm just not even gonna try to name people so I'll put names here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a good time doing it. Thank you Michelle for creating this wonderful creative tag. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!